Suffolk coast is one of the most important areas in the whole country for nature. All the way along the coast we've got incredible habitats from reed beds to lowland wet grassland, some really interesting habitats that are nationally and European protected as well, so they're really important. So the question is, is it a good location to put a nuclear power station here? In our view at the moment, no. The evidence that we've seen will show that this development will be hugely impactful to some of our local wildlife. And we're very concerned about some of the proposals that have been put forward so far by EDF. We think the biggest threats to the wildlife are Sideswell Belt's Triple SI, which is a really important fen habitat that's found behind the current power station of Sideswell B. It's not only important for Suffolk, but it's actually really important nationally. Full of very rare flowers, incredibly diverse invertebrate populations such as dragonflies, and really good for birds as well. We also think actually the impact on some of our mammal species will be really significant as well, particularly bats. The whole area is full of really rare bats, such as the Barbastel bat. Now Barbastel rely on flying across the landscape to different areas up and down the coast and we know there's a big population between Sizewell Belts, the Triple SI which will be impacted, and Minsmere as well. The development will cut right across this area and have a huge amount of impact on this species. The development will be occurring in the AOMB, the Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty, and it's been designated for that for a reason. It is a really fantastically beautiful area, very important for wildlife. Now this development is going to take well over a decade, and in terms of time that's a huge impact for many of our species. And what we're really concerned about is that our, many of these species and the habitats they rely on are right across the landscape and they need these important wildlife corridors to be able to connect to each other. So if you break these corridors up for 10 years, that can have a long, profound and lasting impact on some of the population of these species. Currently, we simply don't think that the development is being mitigated in a way that it should. And we think there will be a huge resid residual impact on the wildlife. So in the face of the climate breakdown, it's really important that we come up with solutions to meet our energy needs. But at the same time, we're suffering from an ecological crisis and it's really important that those solutions don't impact on the wildlife and the nature, which is so important. We're looking for developments that work in harmony with nature and provide solutions both to the climate breakdown and the ecological crisis. And where possible, we need to think innovatively, where those projects can actually deliver environmental net gain and not just a negative impact on the wildlife around the sites. So the Sizewell C proposal comes right up against the southern boundary of RSPB Minsmere, one of the organisation's flagship reserves, absolutely vital to a rich biodiversity, more species of plant and animal recorded here than any other RSPB reserve in the country. And in terms of those impacts on RSPB Minsmere, we're particularly concerned about impacts on the coastline, the development right on the beach could affect the geological processes, the geomorphology morphology on the coast and therefore put greater threat on whether the sea could come in earlier to threaten the habitats at Minsmere. It could impact on the hydrology where the water goes, so the water that's moving from the triple SI within the development into the Minsmere marshes. Uh, if water levels go up it could flood out some of the important species. If water levels go down it could cause problems with drought and, and other restricting factors. And we're also really concerned about the noise and the light and the dust that the 10 years of construction will present the impacts that will have on birds such as marsh harrier and also the impacts it will have on visitors opportunity to enjoy locations like Minsmere and the Suffolk coast. So the RSPB are standing shoulder to shoulder with the Suffolk Wildlife Trust and we believe that this project shouldn't go ahead at the current time. The impacts as we understand them on the environment and the wildlife are just too great.